what's going on guys welcome back to another video on today's video we're going to be going over some new world pvp tips and tricks that may help you get better now i'm not a pro and i'm not sure if there's really any pros out there since it's a fairly new game but i want to share with you what i know and hopefully you guys can share what you know in the comments down below as well if you're new here my name is jj and i do live stream daily so please consider subscribing with the bell notifications on if you want to see more content like this or join us in the live streams and if you enjoy the video or find it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Today's goal is 50 likes. Last thing, guys, I have links to all of my gaming gear down below. If you're interested, they are Amazon affiliate links, so I do get a small kickback, but it costs you absolutely nothing extra. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so now let's talk about movement. So on the bottom of your screen here, you see your stamina. So when it comes to stamina, as you use an ability like, say, your roll... It uses about 50 for roll. Now, the other steps, um, the dodges for medium and heavy are different, I believe. So make sure you're checking that out as you're using it. But you can get two off and then you go completely out of stamina and you see how it's gray there. Now you have to wait till it comes fully back replenished for you to be able to do your rolls again. So that's one thing you want to try to prevent is going all the way out of stamina because then you have to wait for it to replenish before you can roll again and that can set you up to get hit by a big attack. So what I like to do is roll, give it a second and then roll again so it's still in the yellow and it's not completely out. That way you can make a decision on rolling again out of a big attack versus a player. Now a little tip here is to avoid this little roll animation. If you see here you roll, you stop for a second and then you roll again, you stop for a second you can avoid that animation and keep moving if you hit the sheath button which is x on keyboard which is the button to just swap your weapon put it away bring it out put it away so what you'll do is you'll roll and then hit x to swap weapons and it'll eliminate that hesitation that little pause you do so here we go we'll roll x and you see he keeps going roll x keeps going so he never does that stop now i'll do it without sheath he stops right there so roll no stop roll with a stop so nice little tip to keep moving and get a little more distance especially while you're pvping whether you need to catch someone or get away that little pause can screw you sometimes All right, that was a little mean. I feel like a bully now. I was hoping he put up a better fight for the video, but I didn't get to go through my full rotation there. I feel like a douche. So another thing to keep in mind is if you're running a talent that buffs you up like this one here, light attacks with your great ax give you 5% and it stacks three times, you get up to 15% more damage with your ax. If you have that buff on you, and by the way, the buffs show up right here, down here above your mana and health bar, if you swap weapons that buff will go away so example right here i'll hit him with that okay this guy's good i hit him with the axe and now i have this buff right down here your damage is increased so i'll do it again so you see it but now i switch to my axe and they disappear and same thing with the axe there you see i got a buff and it will disappear if i swap but keep that in mind there's times where you might be building something up you might have a lot of uh buffs on you and if you swap you can eliminate all that hard work it took you to get those buffs now there are some weapons that benefit from swapping like the bow here you have archer's speed this gives you 10 percent haste for five seconds when you swap to your bow so things like this you'll want to keep in mind depending on what weapon you're using and what talents you're running now here I wanted to go over a duel I had earlier just to kind of show you and walk you through what I was doing and what I was thinking and maybe we can both learn from this maybe there's people there that can give me advice on what I did right or wrong. So I was walking along and all of a sudden Mr. Red Crayon decided hey I want a duel. I figured he was up to something when he paused I was like alright. And this is great guys to make you better you definitely want to keep dueling people even if you lose you'll learn from it. So first thing here, I wanted to let him make the first move like that and then dodge out of the way. Now he used an ability and you see there, I made him pay for using that ability first. All I used was a dodge to mitigate that attack there. So now I countered with a stun and now that he's stuck there in this stun, I'm going to do a heavy attack because once you hit someone when they're stunned, it breaks them out of the stun and they can move again. 
So you don't want to waste it on a small attack. Use it on a very big attack. So what I do here is I go for a big move. So I'm going to go ahead and use a big ability. And then right there, that ability there is a range ability. So as he was far away, I went ahead and used it. And then I got out of the way in case he wanted to counter. Which he countered with the same ability. But you see there, it did not hit me because I rolled out of the way. So rolling dodging is very important in PvP. Once again, he went for a heavy attack, missed. I dodged out of the way. Here I go for the pull. Now, guys, I don't know if this is broken, but I feel like the pull hasn't really been working. Like, hasn't been healing me. Hasn't been doing damage. Um, maybe like you have to aim it at their feet or is there something that I'm missing here because it doesn't really work for me So I use it nothing really happens and then I dodge again Now that's my gravity well that way he gets stuck in there I roll away So at this point I haven't used potions or food which is something you should definitely be using in fights if you need to I didn't feel like I needed to waste one here yet but I would have if I needed to, if it was a close fight. So he charges in. I counter it with a stun. I mean, I did get slightly hit. I almost got hit on that, but I knew he was charging. And at the end of that animation, he was going to be paused for a second. So my stun was going to go off. And then once again, he's stunned. So I go for a heavy attack right there into a slam and then just finish him off with a regular attack there. So... Just want to show you guys that and maybe there's some tips or tricks you guys may have for me or maybe you learned something from that. Now a few extra tips you can do are things like using this as LOS if you're fighting someone that has range whether it's a bow or a fire staff. I'd be hiding things so they can't hit you and then as they attack then try to close in the distance. That's one thing. Another thing you can do is lay down or crouch will hide your name so that the enemies will have to be closer to you to see you so that way you could either hide or ambush an enemy and sneak up on them and then jump up and attack so that's another cool little feature now you may see on the bottom left there i have my weapons keybound to q and e i would also say find out what's comfortable for you as far as keybinds for me it's q and e that way i don't have to take my finger off the w key and i can keep running um and also my Potions are on my side clicks on my mouse and so are my abilities So I have a bunch of side clicks on the side of my mouse So that's one thing for me. Maybe it'll help you guys. You guys can find your own thing But definitely mess around with that as well last cool little feature You can use your middle mouse wheel click it in and tag someone right now I guess he's not an enemy, but in case your teammates don't have mics you can ping things like this like come on, ping. So yeah, ping the turkey, puts a little red thing over him. That way you guys can jump on the same target and things like that. So guys, go ahead and keep dueling. And it's okay if you lose. If you lose, that's when you learn the most. Go ahead. You can record it if you have that feature on your PC. And go ahead, rewatch it. Learn what you did wrong. And then apply it in your next duel. Now, if you keep losing and you're not learning, then I don't know what to tell you. You, you need Jesus at that point. I don't, I don't know. Well, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and share it with someone that might find it beneficial. Also, leave a comment down below if I missed any tips or tricks. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.